For decades, bad cops could skirt discipline by jumping from one California police force to another. That's about to change. Soon, serious misconduct, like sexual assault, and using excessive force could be enough to kick officers out of the profession in California. Hi, I'm Baronda Lyons, justice reporter with Cal Matters, and I'm explaining California's new police decertification law in under a minute. More than a year after protests against police misconduct erupted across the country, California is rolling back some protections that shielded problem cops. The new law by Democratic Senator Stephen Bradford of Los Angeles takes effect January 1st and creates a way for the state to remove officers. 46 other states already have the power to decertify cops. The law creates a division inside the Commission on Peace Officer Standards, which is a state agency. The commission will review and investigate officers' conduct. The law also establishes a nine-member board to recommend when the commission can ban bad officers. Critics wanted the law to go further by mandating a couple of seats on the board go to victims of police abuse and or their families. But police groups balked and lawmakers removed the requirement. Decertification decisions rest with the governor-appointed commission and will require a two-thirds vote before officers can be stripped of their badges. Want to go deeper into this law and California politics? Subscribe at calmatters.org.